This morning, our scripture reading is from the book of Revelation. We're in the middle of John's vision of the seven trumpets, looking at the first four trumpets last time. Chapter 9 contains the fifth and the sixth trumpet. We're looking at the fifth trumpet, so that's Revelation chapter 9, verses 1 to 12. We'll go ahead and start in chapter 8, verse 13, which kind of leads into this, just so we have uh, the whole context here before us. So we'll start chapter 8, verse 13, read down to chapter 9, verse 12. I remind you, as you turn there, that these are not simply the words of a man, but the inspired, the inerrant words of the living God. We'll start in Revelation 8, verse 13. Then I looked, and I heard an eagle crying with a loud voice as it flew directly overhead, Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth at the blasts of the other trumpets that the three angels are about to blow. And the fifth angel blew his trumpet. And I saw a star fallen from heaven to earth, and he was given the key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. He opened the shaft of the bottomless pit, and from the shaft rose smoke like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened with the smoke from the shaft. And then from the smoke came locusts on the earth, and they were given power like the power of scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any green plant or any tree, but only those who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were allowed to torment them for five months, but not to kill them. And their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it stings someone. And in those days, people will seek death and not find it. They will long to die, but death will flee from them. 